It's been around a month since I went to Pride, Edinburgh Pride, and the other day I was thinking, as I normally do before I make these videos, um, about how asexual's place in Pride. Obviously, I think that asexuals are part of the LGBT plus community, if they want to be, and Therefore, if they want to take part in Pride, like I do, then they should be welcome. Of course, my case is slightly different in that I identify as homoromantic asexual, so if nothing, if nothing else, my uh, romantic orientation qualifies me uh, to go to Pride and to march and to be part of the LGBT plus community. However, like I've said in previous videos, I don't think that you have to be, I don't know, traditionally queer, as long as you're not straight and not um, cis, so you have a, a sexual orientation and a gender identity outside of the norm, then if you want to be part of the LGBT plus community, that makes sense. And of course, I also don't have a problem with straight people going to Pride. In fact, I really like it because it shows that there are pe people outside of the LGBT plus community who are supportive. There are people who will accept me. And given that the grand majority of people will be straight, uh, I like having, <laughs> knowing that there are a lot of straight people out there are happy to su openly support the LGBT plus community. I marched with a group of aces um, organised by Avon. So there's probably a picture of me somewhere on the screen. And that was really cool. Um, I liked being part of a group of aces and showing our pride, being all purple, like I am now. Still purple. Um, anyway, I like being part of that group. But what I didn't think about at the time was whether if I weren't part of that group, if I weren't surrounded by other asexuals, would I have felt welcome? I sometimes feel ostracized from the gay community because I'm not into sex. And especially for gay men, the LGBT plus community is very sexualized. Let's say, yes, we had this concentrated group of lots of asexuals, but we weren't the only aces there. I kept on seeing other ace flags in the distance and people wearing ace colours who may not have necessarily been ace, but probably. Um, although I feel like uh, as an asexual, if you see something that's purple and shades of white and black, you automatically assume that it's ace. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But I saw other aces who aren't part of my group, other aces that just went there on their own. And I saw lit stalls which were selling flags, and they were selling ace flags as well as all the others. And I don't think once I felt like I wasn't welcome, even, and I feel like even if I was alone, I wasn't with any other aces myself, I still would have seen people and I still would have seen ace flags and I would have felt welcome. So I guess the point of me making this video above anything else is that if anyone is worried about going to Pride or worried about showing that they're part of the LGBT plus community or going to LGBT plus groups. Um, from what I've seen, they are incredibly welcoming. And I know there's a vocal minority of people who don't accept asexuality as part of the LGBT plus community and are completely blind to uh, the issues that we face and troubles of ace phobia and all that. But I think, like I said, that is the minority and the majority of LGBT plus people will be accepting because 
they themselves at one point had to be accepted as well. And if nothing else, then you being there, showing Ace Pride, there will be another asexual there, there will be someone else on the Ace Spectrum there, and maybe they're not confident enough to wear the Ace Colours or wave an Ace Flag. But if you are, and if they see you, maybe they talk to you. Maybe they don't, but maybe even just seeing you, they feel more confident in their identity, and they feel more comfortable. And that's <laughs> can only be a good thing. As you can see, I have a new camera. It's new and camerary. 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 Anyway, hopefully you can see my horrible, horrible face in better detail. Once again, short one. I'm gonna say this every time there's a short one, even though you probably realise that it's short before you started watching it. Sorry, I will get back into maybe doing more Meteor videos eventually. I've been very busy. I'm always really busy. But anyway, so I guess I don't have any particular things to ask you this week, but if you have any comments, then leave them down in the description below, like usual. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I post videos every Saturday, so if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. That's all I have to say today. Have a wonderful day, and I shall see you next time. I need to do something with my hands. I don't, I just leave them down here sometimes, and I'm just a talking head. I obviously, if it wasn't obvious, then I'm sorry. Um, yes. <laughs>